So today we are here at Andy's place and we're going to be testing if a racer can feel the difference between 50 Hz RC link update rate and 250 Hz update rate. And that's going to be like a duel between me and Mr. Nice. He will be setting up my update rate. I will be setting up his update rate. So while we're talking about RC link update rate, let me call my expert in this area. Bring, bring. Oh, oh, you're oh, here. Oh, Yvonne. Well, well, we can talk about refresh rate. The most important thing is a high refresh rate is like, and your quad's like, ee, 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 ee. but then a slow refresh is like, whoop, 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 and your quad's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a pretty scientific explanation. Yep. Mm -hmm. So the process, like methodology, is that Yvonne is going to take my radio, and we've even taped out the light because the light shows that just to try to be really. <clears throat> blind so Yvonne takes my radio so he's gonna set my quad before I plug it in on either uh, normal the 50 to 60 Hertz or pure race to uh, which is 250 and then he will take my quad and plug it in on the line because also on the hybrid board it shows a color of like what mode yeah. it's in so we're just trying to be really blind about what we have and then uh, I'm doing the same for Yvonne so I'm picking up Yvonne's radio setting his mode and then plugging his quad in and taking his quad to the line and we're gonna do 10 rounds like that and it's completely blind because when you fly you feel something you don't even tell me what do you feel yes. until the very end yeah so like I made a little notepad on my phone and I'm recording every time what I what I'm giving him and then I have a separate column to record what I, my guess is for what you gave yeah. me for that round yeah and then at the end of it, we'll see. We'll see how we did. So it's going to be interesting. That's going to be interesting for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So later in the evening, Neil's wife found our records and she sent me this message. So because we both have ghost, it's pretty easy to switch between 60 hertz and 250 hertz. And we both have. Tony Cake signature right here, which um, Cole doesn't have. Oh. That's just wrong. I'm sad. So we're both flying open racers, and this is more nasty open racer because it's Neil's one. Not because it's dirty, but just because it's Neil's one. Both flying hybrid boards duo. This is the little 20 by 20 board with uh, dual receiver, diversity receiver and VTX. What do you think, Mr. Matt? Can we feel it or no? No, it's bullshit. It's normal versus... No, no. This, this is, so racers can feel this, so I think you can absolutely feel this. Yeah, yeah. 95% sure. So would you put money on that, Matt? Uh, props. I'll put uh, one props. bag of props. One bag. Well, I mean like one but, set, uh, well, like four. But at individual. least full bag of props. Like no, four. No, no, no. No, like four props in the bag, right? Well... Yeah, but use, three. use props. Use props, use props. all right. Yeah. All right, ready, go. Oh, So, Mr. Neil, are you yes, aware that if you're going to be crashing every round, the yeah. test is not going to be very nice? Right, yeah. Don't just as a personal nice. endeavor? Yeah. So, you just asshole? So, the testing is done. Testing's done. Last Neil's pack, he crashed. Yeah. Are you nervous about knowing the results? <laughs> I am nervous, yeah. But, you know, obviously I want to have gotten them all right, because that means I'm a super sensitive pilot. Uh, and I'll be kind of sad if I got it like you know half right or something. Right. But but I, I I wanted to say also that yeah, if you don't feel it, it also doesn't mean that it's not helping you. True. So yeah. let's let's yeah. read the results. Andy's uh, legendary. Andy is right here. He is a witness. Okay, so this is me reading my answers first. All right, and I will okay. be telling just true or false. Okay. All right. <sighs> Do it. Okay, round one, fast. True, correct. Round two, fast. 
Not correct. False. Fuck. Round three, fast. True. Round four, fast. True. Round five, slow. True. Round six, fast. Uh, false. Round seven, fast. True. Round eight, slow. True. Round nine, slow. True. Round ten, fast. True. All right. So I'll it was it. Uh, it was eight, 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 out, eight out, out of ten. 10. Okay. You got eight out of ten. So that's what okay. I'm saying. Oh, <laughs> look at look at me. He was very nervous. He was very very nervous. That's acceptable. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now now let's let me read my results. Okay. So uh, round one, fast. True. Round two, slow. True. Round three, slow. True. Round four, fast. True. Round five, slow. True. Round six, slow. True. Round seven, slow. True. You gave me three slow in a row. Yeah, I did, yeah. <laughs> Round eight, fast. Yes. Round nine, fast. True. Round ten, fast. True. You gave me... A hundred percent! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you can tell the difference? Well, well, that's like, is it the only conclusion that we can tell the difference or... So you can still go very fast on a low refresh rate. I think the key and where Evan would say is like that it's just got to be consistent and then yeah. you can be good at whatever it is yeah like well, if you have a choice choose the fastest one right? yeah yeah <laughs> well, yeah because uh, and where again where i felt it the most was when i needed to make a correction yeah that's when i could tell if i i feel yeah. like that's where it was the biggest giveaway is if i had the slow when i tried yeah. to make corrections uh they weren't happening like, it was like like that i uh, undercorrected or overcorrected. Do you think you would be able to tell that like while freestyle? I was trying to just uh, shoot straight out and like roll back and forth uh, quickly and I, I wasn't able to tell easily from yeah. that. Or, or I was even trying to do snap rolls because that's how I could feel DJI latency really well was doing snap rolls. Yeah, well uh, DJI latency is a little bit different. It's, yeah. it's not consistent so right. it's kind of worse. But yeah, I, I like because I try to to feel the difference just by freestyle and it, it doesn't work for me like yeah. I'm probably I'm just not very sensitive but maybe we're just not very good freestylers yeah maybe so yeah yeah well we got some results yep and uh, you judge what's the conclusion there you go mm -hmm. right and there's Mr. Cole and Boba and Boba right here Mr. Cole what do you think about this test good job Matt what do you think I think freestylers don't know shit about flying a latency. That's what I think. Damn. <laughs> All right, we got here legendary Andy. What do you think about this test? I think it's cool you're doing it. I, I, I think y'all can do it. I don't even know. I'd be curious if like lesser pilots like me can yeah. do it. Though. Yeah, I'd be curious to test maybe for the next like, video, I right? Yes, that y'all could do it too. Yeah, Sam flying. Yes, sir. Putting in them packs. <laughs> A small remark for nerds. RC link update rate affects the set point, how smooth your set point is. It also affects the delay between your stick commands and your set point. Also RC link affects a lot your feed forward. I spent multiple hours discussing with CTZ Snooze, a better flight developer, trying to understand how RC smoothing and feed forward works in better flight 4.3. It is not very easy, but thanks to Chris, now I have a general idea. And I even made this little funny diagram for my understanding. So let me know if you want me to make video about all that. But the general user does not need to know about that. He only needs to apply a correct RC link preset. And during our duel with Neil, we did not do that. Of course, we still were switching our ghost between 250Hz and 55Hz, but all 10 rounds we stayed on the same Betaflight RC Link preset 250Hz. It means that when RC Link was 55Hz, we experienced a little bit more latency than we deserve and a little bit less feed forward than we deserved. This is a section for nerds, so let's check the black box real quick. So this is 250Hz RC Link update rate and a very sharp roll move from the middle all the way to the right in about 68 milliseconds. The little red steps are unsmoothed, unsmoothed, uh, unsmoothed set point before smoothing. And these steps are exactly 250Hz. This is what flight controller receives from the receiver well after the rate transformations. The green line is set point after smoothing and because it's a filtered data you can see it has a little bit of delay after the red line. And finally yellow line 
amazing feet forward. It anticipates your stick move and sends the drone into your stupid roll faster than you can think of to give you a feeling of a drone locked with your nasty little fingers. And the moment your stick stops moving, Fit Forward has already gone. Like a freaking ninja, like it has never been here. This is fascinating. And on the right side you can see the same sharp roll move, but with 55 Hz are ceiling. The red steps are almost 5 times bigger. The set point delay is also a little bit bigger and the fit forward is still there, but it's not that strong anymore. So in order to make our experiment with Neil a little bit more clean, we should have applied a 55 Hz RC Link Beta Flight preset every time we set our opponent's quad on 55 Hz. Why we didn't do it with Neil? Well, because we're lazy. Neil is lazy. Well, and I'm lazy too. See you in the next video, if I'm not lazy. Well, I just said I'm lazy. Ah.